So I'm Sharon Terry, and I work for a nonprofit organization. I'm 55 years old, and I, for a long time, have struggled with weight, particularly and health overall, in the sense of trying to be in shape but not really succeeding. Early in 2011, I suddenly discovered that there were a whole host of apps out there for my iPhone, and also things that I could use on websites that would make a difference. And probably the most significant one for me was something called Daily Burn. Uh, which tracked what I ate and how much I exercised. And essentially looking at daily burn every day, looking at the calories I was eating and not just the calories overall made a big difference. So to see the percentage of fat and protein and carbohydrates really gave me a lot of insight into how I was eating. I started to use this Fitbit, which is an electronic pedometer that records my steps every day, it records how much I'm going up hills or stairs, and it also records how much I sleep at night. And all that data started to tell me that the story of my life wasn't a terribly good one. Middle-aged, working too hard, and not paying enough attention to the things that were important, like my eating and my exercise. And so I started to track my bike rides and I started to be able to report those both to my Facebook and to my Twitter. I started to be able to track what I was eating, how much I was sleeping. So in 2012, my resolution is to watch my body fat and decrease it. In 2011, I went from 170 pounds to 139 or so. And what I saw over that time is my body fat decreased some, but not enough. So I think for the average person, it's probably important to look at a couple of these things and decide on one or two. Is it best to track your food or is it better to track how much you're walking and decide which ones work for your lifestyle? Find somebody else to work with you and compare your results so that you can encourage each other. My name is Sharon Terry and I will lose 5% body fat this year.